The new chair of the board at Hydro One is set to clean house and cut pay in the executive suite following the July ouster of CEO Mayo Schmidt, says Premier Doug Ford. Ford, who mockingly nicknamed Schmidt the $6 million man during the spring election campaign, told reporters Wednesday that Hydro One has been given six months to trim generous pay packages at the former Crown Corporation still owned 47% by Ontario taxpayers. Conservative Energy Minister Greg Rickford says the government is responding to the excesses for the previous government in ordering Hydro One pay cuts. Andrew Francis Wallace, Toronto Star, leading the new board as interim chair Tom Woods, a veteran investment banker with 37 years at CIBC who rose to chief financial officer and vice chairman. He will recruit a new long-term senior management team for the company, a team that will respect the people of Ontario, Ford said. The development comes as Hydro One searches for a new chief executive without firm salary guidelines in place. Neither Ford nor Energy Minister Greg Rickford would say how low pay packets should go. Article continued below, We are sending a clear message to the entire energy sector that, for our government, respect for the people, respect for the ratepayers comes first, said Rickford. Critics have warned government meddling and pay levels for a publicly traded company like Hydro One will send a chill through the business community and make it hard to attract and retain top talent. The company issued the same caution in its latest securities findings. So far, only one of Schmidt's key team, Customer Care and Corporate Affairs Executive Vice President Furio Pugliese, formerly of WestJet, is leaving Hydro One for a new position elsewhere. In 2017, company filings show he was paid a base salary of $525,000 with short-term and long-term incentives boosting his annual compensation to $1.95 million. His departure was announced Tuesday in a Hydro One conference call with investment industry analysts after the company's new board was appointed and the latest quarterly earnings of $200 million released, up from $117 million in the same period last year. Under new legislation passed earlier this summer, which came into effect this week, the provincial government retains the power to control board, CEO and senior executive salaries until the end of 2022. Any changes in executive pay at Hydro One require 30 days public notice. These measures are practical responses to the excesses that we saw under the previous government, said Rickford. Ford promised to cut hydro rates 12% but has not yet made a substantial dent in customers' bills. Article continued below the uncertainty at Hydro One extends beyond wages as the company's $6.7 billion takeover of U.S. Energy firm Avista Corp., which operates in western states and Alaska, remains in limbo amid concerns from regulators about turnover and senior leadership in the Toronto executive suite. Rickford declined to comment on the hazy future of the deal, which if aborted will result in Hydro One paying a kill fee of $103 million U.S. There's no space for political commentary, he told reporters, adding the new board will make responsible business decisions to that end. Rob Ferguson is a Toronto-based reporter covering Ontario politics. Follow him on Twitter, at Rob Ferguson one